Hey guys, uh, I'm gonna do a little chat about VP44, early 24 valve P-pump swap. So I have this engine here that, um, actually let me just shove it out here a bit just so it's easier to see the front here. Um, we got this engine here that uh, is gonna be going to Australia. Um, just waiting for the shippers to get back to me. But anyways, that has nothing to do with this. Um, if you guys want to take a VP44 24 valve, so the early 24 valve, and put a P-pump on it, it's really not that hard to do. Um, my recommendation always is to people, if you're going to do it, is to buy a 12 valve, strip the parts off the 12 valve that you need, and then put the parts from the 12 valve onto the 24 valve. Uh, you know, like if you're somewhere like in Australia or something, I realize the parts are not easy to get. So most people don't do that. They just opt to buy the kit, the injection pump and stuff like that. Um, but it is not that hard of a swap to do. So basically when you're doing it, you need to, you will have to pull the camshaft or the camshaft gear off so that you can change your timing case um, because the timing case is different from the VP44 for the P-pump. You need the injection pump gear. This front cover is the same as a VP44 engine. They're not the same, but they work. They're just a little tiny bit different, but not, not astronomically different. Um, something else that you do need to do, um, obviously put the pump on there. You will either need to make yourself a set of lines. You can use the VP44 lines and rebend them, or you can buy a set of lines. I personally like buying set of lines. I don't like them rebent. I think they look funny. I guess if you spend enough time doing it, and that's, you know, if you just want to try it, whatever, it is what it is. Um, injection pump. Um, it will just go right on there. You do need the bracket. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that very good. There's a bracket that bolts to the to the injection pump. You can see it bolt to the it bolts to the block to the injection pump. You do want to have that on there. These things take an immense amount of load uh, to run. So you want to make sure you have that bracket on there, or you will break your injection pump or your timing case off. Now, something else you do need to do. So with the V or with the P pump on a 12 valve. This oil line is going to be on the back and the injection pump itself has an orifice inside it. So when you're doing this swap, when you put the, um, when you put your line here, you have to have an orifice line or not line, but an orifice there to slow the oil flow. Otherwise you'll have too much oil in the pump and it causes havoc. So you can buy them, you can buy the fittings with them already drilled. You can buy adapter fittings, so it just, it literally goes in between here. Uh, there's a bunch of different ways to do it, but that is something that I you want to make sure that you do. Uh, and then for the return line, like I said, this is a real, is actually a pretty easy swap. There, it's an, it is involved, um, but it's not that hard of a swap to do if you have the parts. Um, you're making sure your return line is hooked up. This one just has a, like a lot of times I'll use a stainless steel setup on these. Uh, right now, some of the fittings are hard to get and it does add like another $125 to the bill for the kit. The only other thing, if you are running it in a truck that, or a VP44 truck, so 98 to 02 truck, what most guys do instead of changing your, because you need, you're gonna need a throttle linkage. Um, so here, I'll show you on, on my P-Pump 6.7 here. So this is my P-Pump 6.7 engine, but basically the same idea. And you can see the throttle linkage. That's for a 12 valve. Now, if you're doing it in one of those trucks, what you can do is you just use this original throttle linkage. This is off of the VP44 truck. And you can buy a kit. Actually, the whole part of the kit is in there. I have to make a piece because part of it got lost apparently. Um, so this will bolt right on here and then you have your crank bell, you have your crank bell for your throttle. So you can do this either way. doesn't matter whether it's, you know, like if it's going into something different, you can do it that way because the throttle linkage setup for a P pump is like $800 us to buy a new one. So they are not cheap to buy new ones. So here nor there, depending on how you want to do it. But if you're taking the VP44 apart and you have that bracket, you can buy like a hundred dollar kit to do it. Um, now, Crazy Carl's out of the States have complete kits or kits to do this. So if that's, you know, that's the type of thing that you want to do, you can buy a kit from them. The kit does not come with the injection pump, but comes with everything else. 
Um, usually I just piece them together, but it just depends on, it depends on what you can get for a pump. If you are just gonna buy a pump and pay the core charge, then it doesn't really matter, but lots of guys that are doing it don't wanna spend a boatload of money because by the time you buy a, a built pump with the core charge, it's a considerable amount. I mean, you know, you can be like, let's say, minimum you're gonna be $3,000 for a rebuilt pump with no core on it, up to six, seven thousand dollars, depending on what kind of pump you're getting, right? It could be even higher, higher than that. Um, but other than that, there really isn't, it's not too hard. Um, a, a lot of guys, I don't know why they chopped this one out so far, but a lot of guys do notch the intake a little bit right here. There we go, I'll show you on this. <clears throat> I don't know why guys do it because there's nothing in the way. Unless some guys, I guess some guys probably do it so you can get the injection pump nuts. You can still get them with it on there like that. It's just not as easy. So it just depends, I guess. But, so to give you a rundown, basically, of the parts that you are going to need, um, I'll put a link in, or a link in the description. I'll put a list in the description. So you're going to need your timing case cover, or your timing case, I should say, an injection pump gear, your injection pump, nut washer you're gonna need your return line a feed line some sort of a lift pump setup because these do not unless you've put a camshaft in it they do not have a lift pump lobe to run the camshaft or to run the uh pump sorry you're gonna need a different oil line your oil restrictor some some way to adapt your throttle linkage whether you're using the vp44 style if that's what you're working on with uh, or the 12 valve just depends on what you're doing uh, you're going to need a couple fittings to do your return line. However, you're going to do return line. You can buy a kit like I was talking. Um, you need to hook this up, which I have not done yet, but I'm just going to put a fitting. I'm going to do away with this line, but it'll be the line come from here. This is your reference for your, um, Android for your AFC. This one is just going to go from here right into there. I just got to get a fitting for it. I was missing, I was missing one fitting to finish it. That's why it's not, I haven't got it hooked up yet, but I left it like that. So it reminded me I do need to hook it up. Um, and then, like I said, other than that, and then you need the injection lines if you want to put bigger injectors in it. Now, there is, <clears throat> you can leave the injectors pop pressure test, pop pressured set for VP44. But you need to turn your timing higher or it won't run properly. Um, if you're having injectors built, you can just have the pop pressure turned down, pull back a little bit. Um, I would say, I, I would, I personally would put them at like probably 280 bar. These ones, most guys are setting them at 310, which is a little bit on the high side, but to be coming completely up to you, what you want to do. Um, and then I would do recommend to run your timing at least 18 degrees. I usually started at 20 to 22, but at least 18 degrees. Um, and then really that's about it. But like I said, I will put a list, a list in the description of all of the stuff and see if, I, I'll probably see if I can link the kit um, to Crazy Carl's uh, off Piers Diesel. That's the easiest place to buy it. Um, and there's, you know, lots of guys are asking me about when the website's going to be going. I will have it going as soon as I can. Right now, it's me holding it up. I got to get some information for the guy that's doing it. So that's, that's, that'll pretty much wrap up this one, guys. Check out all my other videos. I got lots of videos. You got any comments, questions, you want me to do a video on something, let me know and I'll do my best to do it for you. All right. Thanks for watching. Remember, it's not rocket science.